You guys always hear me talk about going into entry-level IT jobs. That is the best place to start, and I still stand by that. However, in today's video, I'm touching on a subject that I don't normally talk about, and it's been asked pretty often, and I've seen a lot of comments in relation to this, and that is, how do you skip an entry-level IT role? How do you skip the help desk? So today's video, that's what we're getting into. Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Zach with IT Career Questions. If you are unfamiliar with me because we've been getting a lot of new subscribers lately, and hello, thank you, I really do appreciate you guys. I'm here to help answer any IT questions that you guys have that are related to careers. If you guys are looking to get into the field, this channel really focuses on that, and you can find 700 plus videos where we touch many topics related to this. Let's talk about this because it's something that I don't recommend, frankly. I don't think anybody should ever skip any type of entry level role, any type of help desk role as you're getting into the field. Now, there are many IT positions out there, you know, like database administration. It's not necessary to go into a help desk or entry level type of role in that matter. And even further, let's talk about programming and developers. Now, those are IT jobs at a whole, right? That don't require those types of help desk roles and in most cases, some entry level roles. Now, the key point that you guys should take away from this and something that I've touched on so many times, it just hurts me to repeat it. The entry level IT roles are there for a great purpose for you. You learn so much by getting into these different positions that are right at the beginning of getting into IT, these entry level jobs. They're fantastic because they really teach you everything that you need to know about how an enterprise business works. This is something that you cannot learn in books or videos. This has to be done through experience. And it's so extremely crucial. And that's why many times when you see job postings, they're always asking for experience. Well, there's a good reason for that. And that's mainly to help serve the way that an enterprise works. It, it's, it's a really different beast when it gets into the nitty gritty of things. And understanding that is going to be a huge value for you. Getting into this where you have maybe skipped the help desk or skipped an entry level role because I've, I've seen it, I've seen it happen. Many people have done this. Now, the thing that I've noticed throughout the 17 plus years that I've worked in IT and talking with many of the people, the contacts, the, you know, the relationships that I've built throughout the years, one key thing that really kind of separates many people from getting into those entry level roles or skipping the entry level roles is that many of those people have degrees. Now that is just the truth. I mean, that's just what I've seen through the years, what I've personally seen through my experience. I've asked many other people about this as well. And that's kind of what we've all noticed is that for whatever reason, now there's lots of reasons for that. We might not get into that in this video, but people with degrees can often skip the entry level type of jobs. And whether that's good or bad, well, it's not a good thing. Let's just put it that way, right? I question employers who hire people who have a degree with, you know, maybe not a lot of experience or no certifications into a role that's past the entry level. It's happened. Now, I don't want to discourage anybody because anything can happen, which I've stated this so many times. Life is absolutely crazy and anything can happen at the drop of a dime anything. So is there a possibility that you can skip the help desk or entry level? Yeah, there's always that possibility. What can you do to skip it? Well, I mean, as I stated already, the degree is going to be a big one because we've noticed that. Other ways that you can get an advantage to skipping those types of roles are getting certifications. I like a broken record, but this is the truth. Getting certifications is going to be huge for you. Getting any type of experience, whether it's volunteer work or internships, things that I've stated many times before, those are a great advantage to you as well. And of course, building your own home lab. It's like I've repeated myself like a thousand times. I've said these things so many times, but it all relates. I mean, it all really truly does relate to building a better you, becoming a better IT professional. These are the things, no matter what, like no matter what, circumstance you are in in life, no matter where it is that you're looking to end up in your end goal career, 
doing these things now are only going to help you. And I'm going to stay, say these things many times. And I've said it many times before. I'm saying it many times now. And you'll hear me say it so many more times in the future. But the whole purpose of this channel, this video, is to help you guys understand how you build these foundations, how you build these skills to advance your future. And these are the things that you need to do. Is it a good idea to skip the help desk or an entry level role? No, in my opinion and many other opinions, that's not a good idea. Can you do it? Absolutely. Some people out there are just absolute geniuses and just tech wizards. I mean, I know 14 year old kids, 15 year old kids who are smarter than I am, who are currently studying for their, you know, CCIEs, CCMPs, and they're going to be like the future, right? They're going to go so far in their lives. These kids are smarter than I am. And those types of people, I mean, they do advance very quickly. They do skip, you know, help desk positions because they put in a lot of dedication, a lot of hard work. Those are the types of people that I can see skipping entry level positions because they put in their time. They put it in already. Now, other ways you're skipping these entry level roles are of course, who you know. It's never about what you know, it's always about who you know. And that is so true in life, it's so true in any career field. The more people that you know in you know, high level positions or uh, influential positions, the better it can be for you. Being friends with these people can be a great help for you. So if skipping entry level is something that you absolutely wanna do, while I will highly discourage you from doing that, it can be possible, but you have to understand and you have to pay attention to your circumstances, to the level of expertise that you have and just be aware because if you start applying for jobs and they're you know level two on up positions and you're not getting called for interviews or you're getting an interview and you're not getting the job, well, that's a key indicator right there that you should probably take a step back and go at an entry level job. Now, again, it's no means trying to discourage anybody, but please don't skip an entry level job because that experience that you gain is so extremely valuable and it will ultimately help you reach the goals that you wanna reach. And if you guys wanna learn how you can gain an advantage into getting into IT in general, make sure you guys check out the IT career questions, how to get an entry level IT job course that I built from scratch, walks you through chapter by chapter how you can gain an advantage over anybody else to getting your foot into the field. Use the coupon code ITCQ50, saves you 50% off of that price over there. That's all I got for today's video. If you have any other comments, questions, concerns, hit me up in the comments below. As always, take it easy.